was more of the trendy, fashionable, girly sister, and I was more of the tomboy sister, and I was more into schooling and education. And she was always interested in fashion, and shopping, and cooking, and traveling. Um, she was very business-minded. That's what she wanted to go to school for. She wanted to go to school for international business. And she was very career-minded, and she was determined. And she loved to um, just be a really spunky, friendly girl. spotted her body in the back of the library out in the woods um, so when I arrived at the library she was on a stretcher and they were putting her into the helicopter and they were going to airlift her to Tampa General Hospital so at that point I knew she was alive if they were airlifting her on a helicopter to Tampa General but I didn't know what kind of condition she was in was really badly beaten, bruises and ant bites and swollen. She had a few fractures in her face and her nose. And so my mom fought um, with the social workers and the government and she said that you know really shouldn't be put into an assisted living facility, that she should go on to therapy. And they said there's no way that Queena could do therapy because she, her um, damage was just too, there was too much damage and she couldn't she would not be able to benefit from any sort of therapy that they could give her. The Queen has slowly improved while she was in the ICU after she came out of that coma. She's getting better every day. She's holding her head up. She's now using the communication device to communicate now that she can control her head movements. Uh, she uses her head to say yes or no and answer multiple choice questions. She can also stand with assistance and she can kick a soccer ball with her left foot and her right foot on command, which no one said she'd ever be able to do. Um, and it's huge that she can do anything on command because that's the biggest obstacle, is to get the brain to communicate with the muscles. Join Queena is an organization that was formed about two years ago. It was inspired by my little sister Queena. She's known in the community as the Bloomingdale Library Attack Survivor. She survived a traumatic event in 2008 at the Bloomingdale Public Library. Since that day, she has been working very hard to regain her functions. She lost the ability to eat, see, walk, and talk, and she's been going through therapy and medical treatment since that day to improve. Therapies cost about $70,000 a year, and along with that, there's also medical expenses and home care costs. The way that we are able to pay for those costs is through the generosity of the community by donations through the joinquina.com website and also through the fundraisers that are held throughout the year by the community.